there's a reason Robert Sala is completely miserable every time we see him on the sidelines. It's because Adam Gase and the Jets won a game late in the season before Trevor Lawrence was the number one pick, and now the Jets are stuck with Zach Wilson. To tank or not to tank, that is always a question at this point in the NFL season. Tons of teams, especially the ones with one or two wins, are probably looking forward to the draft at this point. But what are the fans thinking? So one Redditor said, I hate to tank, but guys, this is a tank. We need to have the guts to see it through. Now on the flip side, another said this, tanking doesn't work in the NFL. The only case for it is if you really think Caleb Williams is that generational star. I'm not sure of that. So we got these two sides to this argument. Lorenzo, upvote or downvote? Should teams with no playoff hopes start tanking now for a better pick in the draft next year? I'm going to downvote this. Listen, if you are a front office and you're, or a coaching staff and you're telling your team full, filled with veterans, filled with young players looking to build a winning culture, and you're telling them, nah, we're going to lose because there's this guy or a couple of guys that we like better than the, team, the players we have now, just that, that erodes the culture. Look at what the Dolphins did when Brian Flores was there, and I know there were problems around his coaching staff and everything, but when you have the owner telling, jokingly, telling the coach, like, listen, we'll give you some money, but just lose some games because we want to draft this guy, the whole thing collapsed. I'm downvoting this. All right, Safed, what do you think? I'm going to upvote this. Look, I'm all for NFL teams realizing that they need to make drastic changes and they need to make it during this season. There's a reason Robert Sala is completely miserable every time we see him on the <laughs> sidelines. It's because Adam Gase and the Jets won a game late in the season before Trevor Lawrence was the number one pick, and now the Jets are stuck with Zach Wilson. The Texans are incredibly lucky they landed C.J. Stroud with the number two pick after Lovey Smith and Houston won a game late last season too. But if I'm a team in the NFL and I'm trying to make a, a move for the future, I'm firing my coach, I'm putting my backup quarterback in, I'm signing practice squad players, I'm putting it all out there that we are trying to compete and maybe score a touchdown or two, but we're gonna definitely chill out in the fourth quarter because we know what's really at stake in April when the draft comes around. Hey, sports fans, if you want to see more conversations with athletes and stars, check out these videos right here and be sure to subscribe for more from USA Today Sports.